back to Minnesota Whitetail at Great Plains. Well, I'd like to give you guys a quick update about what's happening here in Nebraska. But first, I'd like to talk a little bit about the hunt that Al and I had last Saturday evening. If you had the chance to tune into the Great Plains show last Sunday, you saw that we had a great encounter with the mainframe eight point. And I actually had the opportunity to harvest this deer. I had him at 40 yards. I tried to stop him because he was on the walk. And on the third try, he actually stopped. He was awful alert. I let the arrow fly, and unfortunately, he just jumped the string. And that's all there is to it. Uh, he's still out there. We have pictures of him still. But I'd like to talk a little bit about what we saw when we went back and looked at trail camera pictures. And we quickly realized that he was a deer that we've had for the last two years. And looking back from his 2013 pictures, and we actually had some footage of him, you can see that he just blew up in one year. And so we, we talked a little bit about it, Al and I did, and we decided it was maybe a blessing in disguise that I missed this deer because we believe he's only three and a half right now uh, and was two and a half last year in 2013. And we don't have any issues passing on because we still have two other deer that are, that are older than him uh, and a little bit bigger in size on the farm still. So those are gonna be the two bucks we target, Split Brow and Lucky. The next thing I wanna talk about is what we're seeing here in South Southeastern Nebraska. If you watch the last couple episodes, I've talked a lot about the, the um, ag crops that are still up. And I would say on our property and surrounding properties, uh, what I'm seeing is probably 95% beans harvested. And within the last week, week and a half, the corn is really, really starting to come out. Uh, our property, all the corn has been harvested uh, last week, and the surrounding property, all the corn is harvested. So what I was saying is, if you, had, if you weren't seeing your mature bucks and you had a lot of the corn still up, don't fret because once that corn comes out, you should start seeing more mature deer in some of those bucks. And that's exactly what we, we saw again this year. And this seems to be a year in, year out thing. Uh, last three years in a row, as soon as that corn came out on our property, we started seeing more bucks and mature deer. And it happened again this year. Within one to two days, we started picking up bucks that we hadn't seen all year. If your corn's still up, don't fret. We're, we're getting into the prime time of things. The rut's right around the corner. Uh, and stay tuned. Al and I are gonna be out this Saturday and try to harvest the, at least the dough and uh, see how things are going with this rut and see where we're at. And if we have the opportunity with a nice buck, that's what we're gonna try to harvest. So stay tuned, make sure you join back next Sunday for the Great Plains.